In the previous video, I showed you how to join the Ozark Farmers Network. Today, we're going to explore some of the basics about how to start trading after you've joined. Now, we're back at the Community Exchange System homepage. You'll see up here where it says Login. There is a mobile site. I'll get into that later. You can request a new password. And there's a Spanish version. But let's just go to Login. After you log in, you're taken to your trading account homepage. This is the one for the administrator, and it looks exactly the same as yours except for the administrative functions. At the top, you're going to see the latest offerings and wants. Now, we're only, at the time of this video, just a very few weeks old. We've already got a lot of activity here. If the arrow is pointing up, it means that something that's offered. Someone offered a three to five day retreat. Here we see someone wants hog wire. Someone else wants a water distiller. Here's an offering of general labor, an offering of triathlon coaching, an offering of private instruction for spinal decompression. Click here to see all of the offerings and here to see all of the wants. Then we have a welcome message to our members. I'm going to go ahead and read a little bit of this. It uh, explains how we have a lot of ways of exchanging what we have and can do for the things that we need, and money is just one of them. The internet revolutions brought us a new way of exchanging things without the unnecessary step of acquiring money first. Here we exchange and share what we have to offer for what others provide using a variety of exchange methods like record keeping, time exchange, direct exchange, barter, swapping, gifting, and sharing. Simply by keeping track of who receives what from whom, we can dispense with the ancient idea of exchange media and the apparatus required to create, circulate, and manage them. This helps us focus on providing and requesting what is really needed instead of chasing after money. This network supports farmers, growers, gardeners, and the people who depend on them for food, and botanical medicines. Maybe you don't grow anything, but you're a mechanic who can help service their vehicles or help when childcare is needed because parents are going to be out tending crops. Everyone has something of value to offer this community, and when we freely exchange goods and services without the needs of dollars, we prosper. So you start by making an offering, look at the categories list for ideas, Decide how you want to make the exchange. In our currency, the ARC, as a barter, trade, gift, or sharing, the ARC's equivalent to a dollar. For example, if you're growing organic potatoes and want ARCs for them, decide on the price and post it along with any details, such as when they'll be ready for market. You can also charge in dollars and ARCs, so long as the dollar amount's less than the ARC amount. Here's the beauty part. You don't need ARCs to start buying goods and services. In fact, since our exchange is new, all members will start at zero. Currency is created once we start trading with each other. Everyone has an account, much like a bank account, where transactions are automatically recorded and transparent to all members. You're allowed to go into debt up to a certain point. If you buy 10 hours of gardening help from Josh, who wants 15 arcs per hour, but your account is zero, go ahead, do it. He'll get 150 arcs automatically transferred to his account, and your account goes to minus 150. You can also stipulate when payments are made, for example, after work is done. If you love what he did, recommend him in the exchange. This is similar to farmers borrowing money to get crops into production. A small 4% of each ARC trade goes to the administration of the exchange automatically. The administrator can impose a debt limit if it appears necessary. Maybe you've gardened for 50 years but just can't do it anymore. You could offer gardening advice. List your wants and check each other's wants list regularly. Someone wants material for mulching or their compost pile. You happen to grow mushrooms and have piles of used hay that need to be hauled off, contact them and make a trade or gift. 
you'll receive an email notification when someone wants to trade. If you wish, you can also ask to be contacted by phone. We also have a method for trading offline. This is really useful for those of us who are living in the boonies and maybe don't have internet access at all or even cell phone signals. So the way this is done is through regional coordinators who help with offline trades. It uses receipts which they enter into your online account for you. We're making some progress in getting this set up and you can follow that on our Facebook group and through our newsletter. Down here you'll find again the offering categories. Refer to this when you're making your offerings or you want to do a search. A tip for those of you who have something that just isn't getting any attention. Maybe it's in the wrong category. You could try switching categories. Now I'm going to scroll back up here and we're going to look at the left hand side. These are quick actions that you'll use quite a bit. Here we have seller actions, including entering transactions, recording hours, and sending an invoice. Buyer actions, entering a transaction as a buyer. Giving a recommendation. Please do if someone provides a service or gives you something valuable and it's been a wonderful transaction, please give them a recommendation because that's really useful for us to, for one thing, get to know who we can rely on. Here's how to send an online trading slip. Here's how to send an order form. Here is where you can look at your account balance and a statement of your account. Then we've got trading documents. You can print out a membership card. This is useful when we get to trading at farmers markets, for example. Now, I'm the only one that has access to the administrative functions. Here's where you can invite a friend to join. Just click the invite button and you've got a simple pop-up to put your friend's email address and any additional text that's optional. I would also suggest grabbing the links to these first two tutorials to send to them. Further down we see an area filter. Here you can search according to the area. Berryville, Eureka Springs, Fayetteville, Harrison, Marion County, or other, be sure that your personal record is correct or you won't be seen by people who are filtering for your area. Below that we see some user guide information. You can get these in a PDF form or Word or HTML. And then there is some contact information for me for general queries or membership queries. My email address is your best bet because I'm in the boonies with an old phone that doesn't connect to Wi-Fi and I don't have a cell phone signal. So calling me doesn't do you much good. Now let's go back up here and we're going to just take a quick look at offerings. When you click on offerings, you're going to see the latest offerings, all areas. And from there you can begin to filter towards the specific offerings that you're looking for. There are several columns here. First the, first, the date of the offering, its description, then what it is that they're requesting, the area, and there's another column that I'm not showing that has the names of the various advertisers, and for privacy's sake, I just don't want to show that. Now, if you click here under Categories, you can choose the latest or those that are this week, last week, which ones have expired, all offerings, and furthermore you could look for offerings that are available for ARCs only or gifts, swap, barter, mixed or shared. Maybe you want to see what new users are offering or companies or organizations. I'm going to click on all and I'm just going to scroll down a little bit. You can pause the video if you want to take a look at some of these examples of what we have. For example, Opium lettuce tincture, passion flower tincture, accommodation and camping, herbal medicine for toothache, CBD and native herbal wound salve, raw goat milk, free range eggs, hand blown glass products, general labor, heart inquiry guidance counseling, massage, energy healing, craniosacral therapy, an art book, laptop to convert to Linus, a laptop that needs batteries, flower arrangements, work where needed, caregiver as needed, harvest sharing, 
a silversmith and lapidary artist, bioalignment, pollen trees for firewood, common iris, child care, painting, construction, lion's mane tincture, help with Kiva lending and other bookkeeping. We'll just go back up here, point out that you can search for offerings in other ways according to category. Or if you want to add a new one, you can click on there and add one of your own. I'm going to go back to the home page. And now we're going to click on wants. Here are the latest. It's the same principle where we can see all of them are just the latest. Somebody wants a concrete mixer, elephant garlic, child care co-op. Creative Opportunities, Housing, uh, somebody wants a dedicated farming enthusiast, vans or RVs or buses, rock work. So that gives you an idea of what we have at this point early, early, early in our Ozark Farmers Network. This is going to grow like you can't believe. We're going to have so many wonderful services and goods for everybody. Okay, folks, thank you so much for spending time with me. We're going to stop here. This is enough for just a very basic introduction to what happens after your account has been approved and you're in the exchange for the first time. Stay tuned. I'm going to come back with a few more videos. The next one will be focusing in on seller actions. Then we'll do one on buyer actions. And from there, we'll get into some of the other really fun, useful stuff that this website can do for us.